Hi, this is Master Kambai. Welcome to this new replay commentary. I hope you guys will enjoy. Today we are doing part 7 of Grim vs. the World. I am playing as Grim and I will fight Max in this part. And the map is Redemption. I hope you guys will enjoy. Let's go over the seals first. Grim, unit gain 30% attack, but lose 20% defense. Knuckle Blaster for 3 stars. All unit attack is increased to 50, which is really good. A Maker, all unit attack is increased to 80, just to have a few overkill. And this is for 6 stars. Now let's go read about Max. Max! I thought I had a lot of chance against him, but hey! He has a trash and good day to day at the same time. Direct unit gain plus 20% attack, so he is really good with direct unit. He is better than me with direct unit because they are not weak here in terms of defense. However, and Drake unit lose 10% attack and have minus 1 range. This is why I do believe Max is a trash seal and this is also why I dislike Max and I barely play Max. He is not a fun seal if you cannot use Andrek properly. Now, the power Max Force. Direct unit gain plus 1 movement and their attack increase to 30%. For 3 stars, it's good. Max Blast, direct unit gain plus 2 movement and their attack increase to 50. So basically with my Knuckle Buster, I have as much firepower as Max in his super, but I don't gain any space. So this truly earned me. Anyway, now let's go over to the replay commentary. So here, I do like the map a lot, and the way I see it, uh, Max will be really strong in the long game. Early in the game, I will be able to do good, but the longer the game will be, the worse Grim becomes. And this is a rule that applies to any matchup with Grim. He is really a bad CEO, he cannot maintain his army. So we have very similar openings, I get my first tank out, and he gets his first tank out as well, so we have similar timing and different tank spawn. So now very interesting, he's already in the center, I'm about to hit the center. Maybe it's because of his extra infantry, I believe this is the reason. Now, infantry, infantry, anti-air, because I don't like early uh, battle capture. I also have two tanks in this front. I like to have very aggressive uh, weak point to surprise my opponent. Because usually on your strong side, people expect you to be strong, but they don't expect you to be strong in your weak side. Artery, artery, infantry, because I got the money. And now, ouch, you see any other steel outside of Max would leave me at probably 4 HP. Now, because it's Max, I drop to 2 HP, which is really bad for me. And this is why I won't be able to maintain my army. You see, that tank is almost dead. Now he damaged me, I'm pissed off, I'm sad, I cry. Thanks, spam, because this is the only way Max will play. He cannot use Ender Egg, so hey, things happen, and now. You see, defense also... Defense is also part of the counterattack. What I mean by there is... Your opponent's counterattack will be stronger if you got a weaker defense. 
because your defense is your way to sustain damage. If you got a weaker defense, you will take more damage in the counterattack. This is logical, this is how this game works. So, usually, it's not 1 HP to 1 HP. But now, because Max has increased firepower and I have decreased defense, well, it's 1 HP for 1 HP, and this is really bad, and this truly hurt me. So, uh, yeah, I got pissed up there. I was like, oh, really, really, I cannot kill that thing. So now, kill, damage, kill, oh my, you see, my front line is destroyed. It's already looking really bad for me because I'm Grim and Grim sucks, he's really bad. And now very interesting, he got 3 infantry, so he didn't bought any tank this turn. Maybe it's because he expects most of his frontline to die. And he is right, most of his frontline dies at that point in the game. Battlecopter tank because I need to cover my HQ. I don't know if my opponent is the kind of player that likes to sneak attack the HQ. Kill damage. Kill. You see, my unit are melting. Now, here, this is overextending. This is really bad. Uh, you will lose a tank. Of course, I lost a tank as well, but I can repair my tank. His tank will just vanish. It won't be able to repair. Can still afford that kind of uh, mistakes because Grim is a trash steal. So I use my power. Attack. Attack, kill. 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 You see, I killed a lot of things. This turn was really good for me. But I cannot maintain my army. So right now, I got the edge. I got a better unit count, but... Be a tank. This is a weird way to play Max. Usually with Max, you like to tank spam. And you take up only when your opponent take up. Usually. So, I suspect this guy is not really a strong max player or a strong player at all. Max is OP in the tank spam. Take any other seals, he will mob the floor with them in the tank spam. Now we got a good team, amazing. Now, new tank are really good, but you want to pressure your opponent on many fronts and a near tank cover less space than for example tree tanks because your tree tanks all cover six space your near tank only covers one six space now this can be considered good if you expect me to take up fast which i did but this is out of pure luck because maybe i did not take up all depends on your opponent, and usually as Max, you like to pressure your enemy a lot early in the game and take the lead, and maintain the lead. And you cannot do such thing if you are the first player that take up. Uh, now with that being said, let's keep going there, I'm curious to see how the rest goes. I remember the outcome of this game, but... I forgot what happens in the middle. So infantry, uh, so he strikes my anti-air, which is really good. He kills my anti-air. Battlecopter, artillery. Oh my! If you have been watching my channel for a while, you will know how bad this is, right? Don't do that. Base skip is wrong. Now, this is the first wrong thing. The second, you are max. 
artillery are trash with Max. Now, sometimes to surprise someone, I will make an artillery as Max. But that's only with I skill player and when I really need that artillery. And I would never base skip to get my artillery. And Ali did base skip to get his artillery. And the other question you must ask is, will the artillery pay itself back? I don't know. If he wants to blow up the pipe, maybe it will, because at some extent, it will help you to unify your army. But, as I said, you don't base skip as max to get an artillery. Just don't do that. It's bad. Now, instead of that artillery with the money he had, I would have gotten a recon and an infantry. And I would have 1k more. But regardless, all of my building would have produced units, which is good and I like that kind of stuff. He poorly played this turn. So now, when I see that kind of stuff, I go back to what I said earlier. I think this player is not a good max player. Uh, and now, that turn he just did only enforce the idea he's not a good max player. So now I strike back, I try to get a few buildings. Let's keep going, let's see what happened next. So now I got two medium tank, one battle copter. And max blast. Now this is another mistake in my own opinion. And here is my explanation. Max Super is just the improved power. If you use your Max Blast instead of your Max Force, you will get a really good push for one turn. But this is only one turn. Now, if you spam your power, you will get a good push for two turns. It won't be two turns in a row, but two turns close from each other. And in this specific case, let's count the spaces. One, two, three, four, five. You see, that near tank can reach that artery. Why not even the power or the super? Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the power, you can reach the artery in the back. You don't need the super to do it. Now, let's see. Maybe it's for the recon. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Maybe that super is for this recon to reach the infantry. But that's not worth it. You already have two infantry here. So you don't need to use your super to kill off that infantry. Now, with your power, or even white out your power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, with your power, you can reach that infantry. You don't need your super. So now. I point out two movement where you don't need your super. So why do you use it? Because it's more flashy? It's bad play. Don't do that. Use your power instead. So now he goes there. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now maybe it's for this copter to reach the infantry and you can argue it's good because now you saved a building but is max blast 
in the long term at least, won't really help him because all he did with it is kill an infantry with a battle copter. And this is 1k. Now, of course, you will save yourself 1k, but maybe with 2 Mike's Force you could have killed much more units. So he kills my tank, goes for the building, damage my infantry, damage my infantry, kill my infantry, smash, 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 smash. So now when I look back, that Max Blast did fine, only because of that copter. But even there, I don't feel like it was worth it. I don't. Don't use your Max Blast only to blast one unit you cannot reach with your Max Force. This is not taking long term, this is only taking about this turn. In your specific case, you are already winning. You don't need to overkill stuff. No, losing 1k income is bad. But, it won't lose you the game, because you are already winning the game. So, let's keep going. Now, I use my power to strike this. Kill this. Well, it survived. Oh my, these two survived. So now, at that point, I was confident. I was like, okay, I'm coming back in the race. So I kill stuff. Boom. Attack. Attack. Anti-air. Anti-air. Because I need one anti-air per field. So now, as you can see, I have more volume and only one extra unit. He has 2k more each single turn, which is really good for him. Kill infantry, kill infantry, kill infantry, kill copter, kill infantry, act all greedy. Is it good or bad? I'm not quite sure. I mean, he just threw away an infantry, but he will force me to use my units to stop that. So as you can see, my units are melting. Each turn I lose more unit than what I can produce with my money, or even with my buildings. Now I kill stuff, because this is what we do. Medium tank, infantry, infantry. We are even, but I have more volume. Kill, goals for the HQ, sneak attack. So, oh, 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 let's keep going. My turn. Attacked unit. Kill this. Now, I do overextend here, but I see the ending approaching and coming for me. So, I'm like... What can I lose more? The game is already lost. Tank infantry artillery now, as you can see, we have similar unit count, but its turn is coming. And this trash artillery will actually damage that infantry. I can't fully what I see. Me being shot by a max artillery. It's like, okay, whatever. Tax this, kill this, kill that, kill this, kill that. You see, being grim is really painful. You just lose your unit because you lose units. Kill this. Kill this.
So now at that point it's crystal clear I lost and I resigned one turn later. 15 to 25. This comes back to what I mentioned earlier. The longer the game will be, the worse Grim becomes. And when your opponent has extra firepower on his unit, it becomes even worse for you. Uh, this is why Grim versus Kambai is one of the worst matchup. This is why Max versus Grim tend to destroy Grim. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. We will see each other in future video. Have a great day.